All right, in this video, we are going to check out six useful applications for Galaxy Watch 4 series running on Wear OS. And I believe these applications should be working on most other Wear OS watches as well. If you have missed the part one of this video, I have left a link in the description. Do check that out. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe and do smash that like button for this video if you find it useful. Now let's get to it. The first app on the list is Find My Parked Car. This app automatically stores your parked location without having to do much on the phone or the watch, which is perfect for those of us who forget our parked locations. All we need to do is just open the application and tap on this icon. That's it. It saves the location. While you are on the way to the parked location, you can just tap on the three dots and tap on navigate to get the direction. We can also take notes or store images through the companion app on the phone. Let me know what do you think about this application in the comment section below. Now let's move to the next one. This is called Anytime Gallery for Wear. As the name suggests, it's a gallery application for the watch on which we can view the pictures from the selected albums from the phone. Install the application on the phone and watch. Open the app on the phone. Select the album. Tap on Sync. The images will be synced to the watch. Open the application on the watch to view them. We can press and hold on an image to get some more options here such as slideshow, keep screen on, delete photo from watch, hide photo, etc. If you want to save your images on the watch, this is the best app you should install. Next one is Camera Remote Wear. There are many applications for Wear OS which can act as camera remote, but this one here is a wonderful application which is very intuitive, easy to use and does what it is supposed to do. We have to install the application on the phone as well as the watch. On the phone, we get a simple viewfinder as you can see here. And on the watch, we get to see five icons. Photo mode, video mode, camera switch icon, photo timer and close button. Just tap to record. All the recorded images and videos will be stored on a separate folder. That is cool, isn't it? Now the next one is speaker cleaner. Let's say you use the watch underwater or if you have dropped it into the water, there are all chances that the sound coming out of the speakers is muffled or not so clear. That is when this cool application comes in handy. This app uses sine wave sounds of predefined frequencies to remove water from the speaker. Sound waves cause the speaker to vibrate and shake off the water stuck inside. I'm not sure how effective this app is. Maybe you can try it out whenever your device produces muffled sound after using it underwater. After all, this is instantly accessible solution we have. The next app on the list is Todoist. Jotting down tasks on the phone is pretty easy, but on the watch, it is quite difficult due to the smaller screen real estate. This task management app offers voice recognition as well as typing option. As you can see, the app opens up with a simple user interface. Just swipe to access the menus or options on the top and bottom. When we tap on these three dots on the top, we have today's tasks, upcoming tasks and inbox. At the bottom, tap on this plus button to open typing or voice recognition option to create a new task. This is certainly a good task management application you should try. The last app on the list is Calculator. This is not a basic one. This does allow us to perform complex math tasks. You see this is the basic calculator. Swipe left to access this advanced options for scientific operations such as trigonometric, algorithmic and exponential functions. Definitely useful, isn't it? Do check it out. That's the last app we have here in the list. Hope you like them and use them. All the download links are in the description for you to download. Do let me know which one you like the most out of these six applications. And yeah, don't forget to watch the part one of this video where I have shared about five applications for Wear OS. Part three of the series will be posted soon. So stay tuned and stay subscribed. That's about it in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.